similar to how the empire there was a sith lord and then there was another sith lord similar to that there's like another empire 2.0 that has stormtroopers and stuff that's a big army pretty much just rules the galaxy and stuff while it's confirmed this guy isn't necessarily a sith he was the supreme leader of this empire this new one called the first order with kylo ren yep yeah, time for video about him being one of the beings that it's considered in the lore his greatest warrior y'all remember how darth vader would force choke beings from across the galaxy this seems to be a family thing because kylo ren also be choking people out even if they are vast distances away somewhere in space even if they're just looking at him through a hologram he still can hit them so you're not safe even from vast distance away the longer this video goes the more you're probably going to have to respect him if you don't have respect for him already let's get it when it comes to the skywalker family tree it's almost guaranteed you're going to be powerful he's one of them beings that has sword skills using a laser sword he can do telekinetic telepathy type stuff because he's connected to the force they pretty much explain it like this how he's able to use this thing known as the force it's a strange energy that gives him special powers basically even his outfit you can literally tell he's inspired from vader yes this is like literally inspiration for vader the side to side vader panels dope how strong is he though you can see he had training when it comes to using melee weapons as a youngin to show his skills and why he's skilled we've seen him takes down this horde there's this group called the knights of ren you're probably wondering how did this happen because he's kylo ren how he became kylo ren is interesting he had to prove himself and actually beat the master of these knights after doing so therefore becoming kylo ren with the force and his sword play skills combined he was able to take on the knights of ren one on all of them by himself it's a reason why he's leader there's times where he would change the grip of how he holds the laser sword in this way kind of reminded me of star killer from the force unleashed a diagram like this can give you an idea of how his gear works he has an unstable blade which is why you see the sides look like that jedi or sith's physical attributes isn't what they specialize in but they can amplify their physical attributes with the force itself like how the novelization explains how he's strong enough to break the mask against the wall the force giving him the strength he needs do you remember this scene when chewie shot kylo ren they actually explain this shot in novelization they explain it in novelization the reason why that wasn't fatal is because he instinctively contained its energy with the force that chewie had shot at him due to his physical attributes the force also helps his sword play or one can say fighting speed increase you can tell he's superhuman how he jumps and deflects stuff mid-air thanks to his connection with the force he has great agility fighting speed and all that good stuff on top of his raw power output all these blasts he can just deflect with his laser sword boom boom even beings that have ridiculously good accuracy the lightsaber itself is kind of like a hack man i mean he's already powerful but these zillow beasts are super durable at that even though there's times when jedi like anakin had trouble cutting through the zillow beast he was able to cut it like that from the inside it doesn't seem to matter he just has absurd reflexes the way he can do it consistently actually pretty scary when it comes to lore from novelization from the star wars force awakens visual dictionary or guidebooks and stuff they describe his reflexes in a way that it's out of the ordinary even real young it's implied he can have conversations through the mind with snoke keeping secrets from beings like this is no point he can just read your mind yeah don't keep secrets from him he'll find out yeah the force can do a lot of things what's his blast power like i mean he can make shields or force barriers with the force he even does the signature force choke just like how darth vader used to do when it comes to his blast power raw power output with the force let's get it examples like this with the force how the millennium falcon's power was pushing against him he was able to hold himself in place while everybody else was getting blown back from the power of this ship taking off if you don't have no force resistance he can just freeze you in place yeah this is when ray didn't have no idea she had the force she just literally got frozen to the point where she couldn't move blast the bolts he can freeze in mid-air yeah this feat is actually crazy and flashy as heck he can use his saber but he can also force choke you if he doesn't want to cut you up even if you're a big creature just don't try to back talk him i mean he has a very quick temper if we're being honest this has a vader written all over it inspiration just because you're big no head for you he can save himself from taking damage using the force to slow himself down levitates objects while meditating even while young they had training like levitating rocks the blah 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 lifting humans with the force is actually normal and easy but when you really get down and dirty to understand how strong he is it's occasions like this you get to see him lift up all this rubble in combat badly damaging one of them you can see how he blasts large amount of aliens he can blast all of them back 
even if you attack him with a lightsaber, he could use his reflexes and everything to blow that lightsaber back. One can say this is a form of force barrier or shielding, like how he blocks attacks like that. One of his more flashier showings of his blast power is where he blasts these beings so hard that as collateral, it messes up the temple as collateral. Based on all this information, I think it's totally believable that we all could definitely believe he could collapse buildings with his blast power. Not to mention if you have your doubts. We got to remember whatever Ray can do, he can do similarly. Because throughout the movies, as Ray started getting better with her force training and getting more acquainted with the force, he was still constantly able to stalemate her in the force tug of war type bullcrap to where they're literally implied to be equal when it comes to blasting each other. In this particular occasion, implying a legit stalemate how they blasted each other. You're probably wondering why am I bringing this up because these two literally did a tug of war with an actual ship. This pretty much means if Ray can lift up hundreds or possibly, I've seen some people argue this could be a thousand tons. That means Kylo should be able to do similarly lift thousands of tons as well. Not to mention there's a lot of force users that have shown the lift heavy stuff in the Star Wars lore. And since Kylo has the blood of one of the force users that has some of the best genes in the universe, we know Vader is stronger than beings like Kanan, for example. And I think we all could agree that Kylo could be above this guy too, or is for sure above this guy. Just to give you an understanding of what lower tier force users can do when it comes to their force ability, big old type mountain sized temple type structures, they can move with the force or twist upward and, or whatever. This has to be over thousands of tons. If they can lift thousands or hundreds of thousands of tons, so can Kylo. But then an argument can be made that just like how Luke Skywalker can shake the Star Destroyer in a fit of rage back in the day, stated on panel that the whole ship or Star Destroyer will shudder or shudder. So if Luke Skywalker can shake big structures like this, and if we assume this is how Star Destroyers would look compared to a city, looks like the size of at least 50 buildings, one can say the size of a small town or a big town. Yeah, I know these ships don't exist in real life. There's actually people that have done calculations on how much a Star Destroyer would weigh if it existed in real life. They've estimated that it will weigh 4 million tons, because when you convert kilograms into tons, it comes out to be 4 million tons almost 5 million tons. Does this weight look about accurate when somebody does like a fantasy picture having a Star Destroyer compared to buildings in real life? I think when you consider the weight of buildings, it being 4 million tons is actually reasonable considering that a building can weigh up 500,000 or hundreds of thousands of tons. And look how big these things are compared to buildings. Low key is a small behind town or city sized ships. Star Destroyer. I'm not necessarily saying he's equal to Luke in his prime, but if Luke can do something like this, do you think it's a chance that Kylo has the blast power output to shake something this big or shake something that's 4 million tons? I want to hear your thoughts below. Feats like this of him collapsing stone statues that are massive imply it or scenarios of clashing with Luke Skywalker himself collapsing this whole hut on him. All that destruction. Luke Skywalker knew his potential was crazy. Look at all this destruction that he caused. But it's really up for your interpretation. Do you guys think he could blast with 4 million tons or 3 millions or, or millions of tons of force? Do you think his power output is that crazy? When it comes to force users, whatever they can lift, they can also blast with that kind of force outward or even shield themselves with that kind of force as well. You know, it's the same power being used in different ways. I want to hear what you guys think. Do you think Kylo surpassed Ahsoka or do you think Ahsoka is above him? That would be an interesting discussion because we know Ahsoka does really well against Sith Lord tier beings like Vader himself. That's why I thought it would be nice to bring her up in this conversation. But what do you guys think? Before I get going, you have to respect Kylo Ren no matter what. But before I get going, I have to say thanks for the donations, guys. I will see you guys later, though. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.